in the end zone. He is. He's having here. Yeah, that's my Obama boy. Snapping that NFL record of 402 straight pass attempts without an interception. So Bears winning this one. So the Bears defense averaging over three sacks and two takeaways per game this season. Here's a look at the last four times they did that, which include a Super Bowl victory and an NFC championship appearance. So, Dion, is there a team that could give the Bears defense some trouble? New Orleans Saints. Yeah. New Orleans Saints in that dome in New Orleans. It's hard to deal with those guys. For one, New Orleans defense can match up pretty well with the Bears, and Drew Brees is not going to consistently turn the ball over. First of all, let me give love to these Bears. Three sacks and two takeovers on an average, that's ignorant. Yeah. That is phenomenal. That's that amazing. is dialing it up. That is balling. Hats off to you guys and your coaching staff for what you're accomplishing. But the Saints can test them in every area. One guy changed the fortune of Chicago, Khalil Mack. He brought everybody up. So now the ball's coming out quicker. You see Eddie Jackson, who's going to be an all-pro, going to the Pro Bowl. Fuller, I think he leads the league in interception. He's going to go to the Pro Bowl. Akeem Hicks, now all of a sudden, he doesn't get all the double teams. That's sliding towards uh, uh, Khalil Mack. But I agree with you, Time. I believe New Orleans can get him in that building. And, and Because I don't trust, to be honest with you, I don't trust Trubisky. I saw him last week. I saw him last week when they were dominating the Rams, and he kept the Rams in the game by constantly turning it over. He was, like, trying to outdo golf. Golf would throw a pick. He like, I'm not going to let you outdo me here. I'm going to throw one <laughs> right behind you. Yeah. And so I believe that's the weak link. If, because they can run the ball with right. Howard and Cohen. They got yeah. nice, solid receivers. Nothing great, but they can make plays. Trubisky, is, is, as I think, I it, it, so he's the liability. Yes. I, can, I completely agree with both of you. The, the one problem that I see, if we're nitpicking a little bit with the Bears defense, I think you can run on a perimeter against them. Away from Khalil Mack, obviously. Yeah, because he set the edge real good. He set good. the edge well. <laughs> the other side, Floyd. Yeah. You know, I think you can you can run on a perimeter, and the Saints, what do they do well? They run on a perimeter. Kamara and Ingram, they, they, they can get that done. So, if the Bears got to go there, Trubisky in that environment... I, I, I think that'll be a oh, tough one. That, be loud, that'll, that'll be tough, God, it's going to be loud. So yeah. I, I agree with both of you. I think the Saints are the team. Oh, don't see, but look, I know the Rams are falling on a little hard look. Golf is turning the ball over. They need to get back to running Todd Gurley. The dude is second in the league in rushing, yeah, and right. now all of a sudden you just want to throw him the ball. Turn around and hand it to him. Run the football, Sean McVay. We understand. You're a genius. You can call now, plays with the best. Do you think he's thinking ahead saying, you know what? Let me preserve this guy for the playoffs and not overuse him. Hmm. Well, you well, better get home. You better. That's a good thought. I'm yeah. telling you. Well, he got banged up tonight. He missed some time with yeah. that knee injury, so you might want to really preserve him now well, at you this better, point. You better get home field because yeah. here Chicago's one game behind you. They beat you head to head, so you lose another. Guess who jumps into the two slot? That's, that's true. Uh, Khalil Mack, he balled today, so he got the call. Time to go prime time, presented by Geico. It has to feel good to knowing that you come over there and change the whole thought process, not only as this team, but this defense, man. You can say that, man, but these guys been putting in work, man, and uh, just coming in and want to be a part of, of, of greatness, and, and that's what it's been. How far can this team go, man, right right now? I mean, this Bears team. Everybody get on here and say sky's the limit, man, but you just got to keep stacking these wins, uh, learning from wins. And um, yeah, we're going to see it down the stretch, man. We're not going to really talk about it. We're going to be about it.